Good Monday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to what's making news, let's head outside and take a look outside our weather window. And boy, it sure felt like winter out there today. A little bit of snow even on the foothills of the Cascades as we take a look at the Wenatchee Valley from our cross camera up on Wenatchee Heights. And we did see a good deal of clouds this morning. Things did clear up around mid-afternoon or so, so some blue sky peaked out, but boy, it stayed a little bit chilly. We're gonna have fairly quiet weather this week. The big news will be Wednesday, where we could see a pretty good wind event, especially for you viewers in the Columbia Basin area, also up Waterville Plateau, parts of Okanagan County, where winds could gust between 35 and 45 miles an hour. And we'll talk more weather coming up a little bit later on. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. Several vehicles were destroyed in a fire Friday afternoon at a property south of Soap Lake. Highway 243, just west of the Vernita Bridge Junction in Grant County, had to be shut down for several hours Saturday morning as crews removed a semi that had rolled onto its side the previous day. And the latest variant of COVID-19 has now been detected in Washington. But first, our top story tonight, a 46-year-old Afreda man had to be airlifted to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle Friday morning after his vehicle rolled and caught fire on Highway 155 north of Cooley City. The Washington State Patrol said Joshua Bassett was driving his 2008 Honda Civic North near Banks Lake about 7.12 a.m. when it left the roadway to the right, struck a, struck a rock bank, and rolled. The Civic came to rest in the northbound ditch where it caught fire. Bassett reportedly suffered injuries that included multiple fractures and burns. Several vehicles were destroyed in a fire Friday afternoon at a property south of Soap Lake. Firefighters from Grant County Fire District 7 and two other agencies responded about 12.45 p.m. to 17.350 Road B.5 to find a fully engulfed recreational vehicle. That fire quickly spread to nearby vehicles that included a boat, a passenger vehicle, and a Jeep and a pickup. The fire was contained by 2.45 p.m. There were no injuries and no structures damaged by that fire. The cause remains under investigation. Highway 243, just west of the Vernita Bridge Junction in Grant County, had to be shut down for several hours Saturday morning as crews removed a semi that had rolled onto its side the previous afternoon. The Washington State Patrol said the semi was hauling onions that were unloaded Friday night. The driver of the semi was not injured. The latest variant of COVID-19 has now been detected in Washington. The State Department of Health announced Friday the Omicron variant had been found in three adult Washington patients from Thurston, King, and Pierce counties. The variant was found in test samples collected from those three patients between November 29th and December 1st. In a media call over the weekend, Secretary of Health Umar Shaw said vaccination and other health measures remain the best defense. The next few weeks will be critical in determining how this variant spreads compared to Delta. We absolutely continue to monitor that as well as continue in our investigation. As you know, we have been emphasizing throughout the tools to fight COVID-19, whether Omicron, Delta, or any other variant. The best ways to prevent the spread of this new variant or any other variant is, of course, to get vaccinated. And that's for both adults and pediatric children. That's for primary vaccination for those who have not gotten vaccinated yet, as well as boosters for those eligible. And we certainly wanna to continue to emphasize wearing masks and other safety protocols, especially indoor public settings or in crowded situations. Coming up next, the Washington Supreme Court said Friday it will not redraw the state's voting districts. Lake Chelan Health will install a temporary CEO for its hospital and clinic system if it does not make a permanent hire by January 19th. A Douglas County rancher is the new co-chair of the Washington Fish and Wildlife Commission. 
And we'll show you drone video by Chelan County Public Works last week showing the progress that's been made on the West Cashmere Bridge replacement project. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Winter is a great time to trade in your current hot tub. Turn your old hot tub into money with Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa's trade-in program. You can save $500 to $1,000 off of any new Artesian Spa or take advantage of a free Bluetooth music experience. Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa recommends draining your hot tub every three months. Ask us about our drain and refill special. Stop on by Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa today. When it comes to finding a memory care community, you want the very best. You want to know that your loved one is safe and receiving compassionate care in a loving environment. Fieldstone Memory Care is an innovative assisted living community designed for those with Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's disease. You'll find a community specifically designed to enrich residents' lives. The Fieldstone team is here to help you navigate the important decisions you face when a loved one has dementia or Alzheimer's. Welcome home to Fieldstone. Ever wonder what it takes for wild birds to survive the longer, colder nights of winter? They can't just turn up the thermostat or throw on an extra blanket. Winter Super Blend from Wild Birds Unlimited provides a super boost of energy and fat, essential for winter survival. Stop by our store to learn how you can help the birds this season and how you can attract more beautiful birds to your yard. Wild Birds Unlimited. More birds, more joy. Welcome back. In another news, the Washington Supreme Court said Friday it will not redraw state's voting districts. The high court says the Washington Redistricting Commission, quote, met the constitutional deadline to create new congressional and legislative maps that will govern the next 10 years of elections. The decision means Chelan and Douglas counties will now be in separate state legislative districts. Chelan County in the 12th District, Douglas in the 7th District, which includes most of Northeast Washington. State Senator Brad Hawkins remains inside the 12th District, but just barely. His East Wenatchee neighborhood is inside the very edge of the map. The city of East Wenatchee will also move out of the 8th Congressional District and into the heavily rural 4th Congressional District. Lake Chelan Health will install a temporary CEO for its hospital and clinic system if it does not make a permanent hire by January 19th. Career Hospital Administrator Emmett Schuster is under contract to take the job of on an interim basis if need be. The Board of Lake Chelan Health has been looking for a new CEO since the resignation of George Rorick back in October. Chief Financial Officer Cheryl Cornwell has filled those duties in the meantime. Commissioners say the search for a new CEO could take up to six months, but progress is encouraging. A Douglas County rancher is the new co-chair of the Washington Fish and Wildlife Commission. Molly Linville, who's 46, has owned and operated the KV Ranch in Palisade since 2011, and she formerly worked as a biologist for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Linville has been a member of the state commission that sets policy for the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife Department since 2019, when she was appointed by Governor Jay Inslee. She's also been active in building better wildlife wild fire protection for ranch lands in the Northwest. Her fellow commissioners voted 8 to 0 at their Friday meeting for Linville to co-chair the panel for the next two years. Drone video by Chelan County Public Works last week shows the progress that's been made on the West Cashmere Bridge replacement project. The bridge, highway overpass, and roundabout are expected to be completed early next summer.
You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Please stay with us. Mary Maids of Wenatchee believes a clean home is a happy home. Mary Maids provides holiday cleaning services to cheer about. Don't let the seasonal cleaning ruin the festive fun. Mary Maids can simplify your life at a great value. It's never too soon to start planning a holiday perfect home. Mary Maids of Wenatchee happily offers a worry-free guarantee. Locally owned and operated, let Mary Maids do the cleaning while you focus on your family and friends. Call Mary Maids today. Introducing Alpine Air Man. Because every home needs a superhero to eliminate poor indoor air quality, send inefficient operating equipment packing, and cut high energy bills down to size. For heating or cooling and equipment replacement, turn to the experts and the superheroes at Carrier and Alpine Air. We offer the best deals on high efficiency Carrier products, along with friendly, knowledgeable service and incredible savings to fit your budget. Raising a family may have seemed overwhelming to your parents, but they weren't. Coach, teacher, life guide, caregiver. Family takes care of family. And as the circle of life continues, you now are their caregiver. It may seem overwhelming, but we're here to help you find the support services necessary so you can provide quality care to your elders. Call Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington at 1-800-572-4459. News, weather, and sports. It's all here weekdays at 5, 6, and 10 on your local news source, the NCW Life Channel. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. In tonight's feature story, Santa paid a visit to children at Hooked on Toys Saturday thanks to a helicopter from Life Flight Network. It was all part of the North Central Washington Community Toy Drive presented by Les Schwab. Our very own Eric Granstrom was on hand for the story. here at Hooked on Toys. As you can see, the Life Flight helicopter behind me bringing Santa Claus in so the kids could meet Santa Claus and see Santa Claus and get a picture taken with Santa Claus. Thanks to Life Flight, thanks to Life Flight Ambulance, also thanks to Ballard Ambulance and firefighters from Chelan and Douglas County for being here today to make this a very special day. And thank you for being part of the NCW Community Toy Drive presented by Les Schwab. We're going to be at Hooked on Toys again next weekend. Uh, we're, there's drop-off boxes throughout the community where you can find out more at lstoydrive.org. Thanks for being part of this very special day here at Hooked on Toys with the NCW Community Toy Drive presented by Les Schwab. I'm Eric Granstrom on the NCW Live channel. Time now for a check of that North Central Washington weather and I hope you had a great weekend. It felt a lot like winter though, didn't it? It started off Saturday with a little bit of light snow and then it turned out okay. Temperatures basically between 35 and 45 degrees and today a lot like the weekend was. We saw low cloud deck this morning that lifted a little bit this afternoon allowing us to see just a little bit of that blue sky at times but boy it made for a gorgeous shot didn't it down at the Wenatchee Valley today. 34 our unofficial high temperature and that's basically where we should be for this time of year. 35 is our normal high. Record high, 54 degrees back in 1979. 28 our overnight low, just a couple of ticks above where we should be for this time of year at 26. Our record low, 5 degrees, and that was set back in 1980. We did pick up another one hundredth of an inch of moisture over the weekend, so that now gets us to 5.15 inches of precip for the year. Sunrise 733 and the sun set this afternoon. 
Boy, it's early now, isn't it? At 410. Let's take a look at those temperatures as we get you into your Tuesday weather forecast and a little bit warmer and we'll see that a little bit as we make our way through the week. 41 at Moses Lake and Afreda, 40 degrees for the high temperature in Quincy tomorrow. Upper 30s for the Wenatchee Valley, Kashmir 38, Wenatchee 39 degrees, any at 38 and OMAC, one of the cool spots tomorrow, high temperature of 37. Tonight we can expect mostly cloudy skies. Here's a bit of a ridge up and over the Pacific Northwest, but it's dragging that cooler air down into Washington State and that's why we're so cool. We'll see lows tonight in the lower 30s. Be aware of some patchy fog that we might see tomorrow morning. For Tuesday, mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. Maybe some clearing at times in the afternoon. Not bad with high temperatures tomorrow, as we just showed you, near about 40 degrees. And then Wednesday, hold on to your hats. Look at this strong northwesterly flow. We are going to see breezy conditions throughout the day, 10 to 20 miles an hour here. Gusts up to 40 miles an hour in the Columbia Basin with high temperatures on the warm side into the mid 40s for Thursday back to a quiet day of weather. We'll see partly cloudy skies. It will be mild once again highs in the uh, lower 40s as this ridge and boy it's a big one hangs on for about one more day because by the time we get to Friday this large area of low pressure will really squeeze down that ridge and that will allow some showers to move in mostly during the day in the Cascades but look what happens as we get a little bit closer to midnight about a 60 percent chance for a rain snow mix for us. This is Saturday morning. This is heavy precipitation here at about two o'clock during the day Saturday. A good chance for rain mixed with snow and it looks like as we get into the evening hours we're going to stay with at least a 70% chance for rain and snow. Sunday not much different. Cloudy skies a 60% chance of the wet stuff. We'll see high temperatures mainly in the low 40s. This area of low pressure is just going to continue to slide down the coast line. So as we even get past Sunday, it is going to be a very wet first part of next week as well. Let's take a look now at that seven day forecast. 30 degrees our overnight low tonight. Mostly cloudy, a little bit warmer tomorrow at 39. Even warmer with some wind on Wednesday and 45. And we're going to stay in the low to mid 40s right through Thursday and into Friday. Friday night into Saturday. That's where things get wet. 70% chance for rain and snow mix both Saturday and Sunday with high temperatures both days, mainly in the low to mid 40s. And that's a look at your local weather forecast coming up next tonight's sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. Dr. Wayne Latimer's chiropractic and integrative multi-care specializes in all level of injury care. If you've been injured in an auto accident, on the job, have a sports injury, or a simple fall, call today for a free consultation. They offer a combined multi-care approach with medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, massage, and acupuncture. For relief from long-standing injuries to basic solutions for the weekend warrior, Latimer's chiropractic integrative multi-care is one stop, one location. Hello, my name is Brian Brett, the Fire Chief for Schlein County Fire District 1, and I just wanted to talk about how amazing our Rivercom team is. They are intentional, purposeful, and skillful in everything they do, and they are the best at what they do. How they prepare, how they handle the caller, how they coordinate the emergency services, and how they push themselves to be the best. This is the kind of spirit that our Rivercom telecommunicators have. Our community needs you, we need you, we admire you, you're our lifeline. With TV advertising, what we want to do is more deeply connect with the community. People spot me in different parts around North Central, you know, Costco and Wenatchee say, hey, you're the pizza guy. And so they wouldn't know that if it weren't for the, for the TV commercials we've done. We've been here so long that people already know who we are and what we do, but to have that image flash on their television screen as opposed to just hearing in the radio or seeing in the newspaper. I just love the fact that we can actually put our finger on when a customer comes in and says, I saw your ad. It's becoming increasingly difficult in this digital age to know where are your customers listening or watching, because I watch all the different channels that they watch too, like Cooking Channel, History Channel, and so it was wonderful to be able to be on there. I would say that uh, if you want to do business in Wenatchee, then you should connect with the people of Wenatchee, and there's no better way to do that than with NCW Life. And now, 
with a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a happy Monday. Well, it's been since about Halloween, but the Seahawks finally have another win. Seattle outlasted San Francisco at Lumen Field Sunday 30-23 to with a snapping of a three-game losing streak. Russell Wilson shook off the rust and threw two touchdowns on the day. He said it was good to finally have a good week, have positive results on game day. You know, we had a great week of practice this week. We are all dialed in. Um, we stayed zoned in on what the task was. Um, nobody blinked. And... Um, you know, that's why I think we were able to win this game. This game was definitely a crazy one. There's a lot of, you know, it felt like a crazy uh, NFC West, you know, battle, obviously going back and forth between two great teams. But um, we were able to you know, execute when we needed to, had some key third down conversions and everything else. And, and obviously scoring in the red zone was huge for us. Um, you know, that was that was that was really great to see Etcher score a touchdown, his first touchdown. To see um, Tyler Lockett make that great catch in the back corner was a really special play. The defense was lights out, making plays. Um, just seeing the turnovers they were able to get, that was key. And I think the fans were amazing tonight too, as well. That that really helped as well, especially in that that last little stretch of the game. Seattle scored its first touchdown of the day on a fake punt on its first possession with Travis Homer taking it 75 yards to the end zone. Coach Pete Carroll said it was a relief to finally get the monkey off their back. I'm really happy that our guys got a chance to get in the locker room and have fun with it and get a great win. You know, no matter when you get one, it's great. And, and this one was much needed and and all. And uh, there was a lot a lot to celebrate in the game. A lot of huge plays. The the big the special teams play to start the game off was just great design by uh, Izzo and, and uh, Larry Izzo and, and Tracy Smith to take take advantage of something they saw. And then perfect execution by the guys on on there. And of course, uh, Homer does the scoring. Bloor's blocking now. Everybody, everybody did great on that one. That's just an amazing play. It was, it was exciting for our guys to uh, to get AD as a touchdown today, so we could tie the great Jim Brown. I think that was a great illustration of you know a guy just hanging tough and, and, and believing in himself, and we believed in him also. Gave him a chance with his matchup today. Totally came through and had a big day with the, the sack for the for the safety is gorgeous, and then of course the big play at the end. Uh, Coach Carroll referring to Carlos Dunlap there, who had a safety and knocked down a 49er pass attempt on fourth down to clinch the win. Seattle heads for Houston Sunday to face the Texans at 10 o'clock on Fox. Well, the Seattle Kraken also notched a win on Friday, taking down Edmonton 4-3 at Climate Pledge Arena. Seattle opened the scoring early for the Kraken on a goal by Yanni Gore just 49 seconds into the game. Here's Donato, one-timer, scores! McDavid, they play catch all the way across. They score. Leon Dreisaitl. And hand it off for McCann. Cross ice. It's Larson. Adam Larson right in. He scores! There's a story. Diagonally across. Bouchard tees it up. He scores! Short side, Evan Bouchard. Nullified in the center zone by Shea. And now splitting the D. Blackwell, he's right in. He scores! What a goal! Right back again, Wenberg out in front, they score! That's hockey, baby! Marcus Johansson, right on the money! It's cracking by two, Bouchard with a shot tipped, they score! Connor McDavid, the final push, right through the middle, caught by Grubauer, that's cracking hockey! Seattle's back on the ice tonight to host the Pittsburgh Penguins for the first time in franchise history. 7 o'clock on Root Sports Northwest. Well, the Wenatchee Wild did not have the same kind of luck in a couple of games stretch north of the border. On Friday, Cade Littler's sixth goal of the season midway through the third period sent Wenatchee's game at Merritt into overtime, only to have Ben Ward win it for the home team nearly four minutes into the extra session, 4-3 the final score. Then on Saturday, nearly 3,000 people filled the South Okanagan Event Center to see the home Penticton Vs jump out to a 4-0 lead and route to a 5-3 victory, scoring goals for the Wild. Brett Orberly, Jack Ivey, and Cade Stivey. Well, Nancy's back on uh, home this week to practice before it heads to Merritt on Saturday, West Kelowna on Sunday. Well, the state high school football championships were settled this weekend over on the west side. Uh, Graham Kapowson won the first ever state 4A title, 44-7 over Lake Stevens. Bellevue once again the 3A champ after a 17-13 win over Kennewick. Linden won the 2A title, but downing Tumwater, Royal captured its 10th state championship in school history 
by blowing out Eatonville. Kalama edged Napa Vine for the 2B title and Elmira Cooley Hartline, the 1B champion with a 50 to 20 win over Quilsing. Congratulations to the Warriors. Let's check the Les Schwab uh, boys basketball scoreboard from Friday. Eastmont beat Chelan high scoring affair at 97 81. The final Chiawana dumped Moses Lake. Natchez Valley down Cascade. Brewster beat Kettle Falls. Soap Lake stopped Bridgeport. And he had 28 better than Waterville Mansfield. Davenport beat Liberty Bell 70 to 46. Turning to Saturday, Wenatchee edged Bridgeline 53 51. Post Falls defended its home court against Moses Lake. Zilla had no trouble with Cashmere. Quincy quieted Waluk. Riverside Christian walloped Waterville Mansfield. And Manson stopped Soap Lake 73 46. Turning to the girls Les Schwab basketball scoreboard from Friday. Chelan down Eastmont. Chiawana edged Moses Lake. Natchez Valley ease past Cascade. Brewster edged Soap Lake. Uh, it was Be uh, Liberty Bell downing Davenport and Waterville Mansfield stayed unbeaten with a 54-38 win over Enneat. Turning to Saturday, Wenatchee earned its first win of the season, downing Ridgeline 58-55. Ferris clipped Moses Lake by one. Cashmere remained unbeaten with a win over Zilla. Quincy beat up on Wuluk and Manson moved on by Soap Lake 48-31. Turning to the college basketball scoreboard from Saturday on the men's side of the Les Schwab scoreboard, it was Gonzaga dropping its second straight to a top-10 opponent. Alabama winning at the battle in Seattle, 91-82. USC escaped Pullman with a two-point win over the Cougs. Eastern Washington met Omaha's challenge, winning 92-81. Sunday's game for Washington at, against UCLA forfeited. The Huskies have COVID in their program. On the women's side of basketball, College B uh, make that Gonzaga beat Wyoming in Spokane Friday, 54-47. Washington State continued to roll with a win over UC Davis. Haley Van Leth led 10th-ranked uh, Louisville with 16 points and five rebounds to beat Belmont, 80-66. Montana and Montana State are moving on in the FCS playoffs. Montana outscored Eastern Washington 24-7 in the third quarter, went on for the 57-41 win in Missoula. Montana State held UT Martin to 178 total yards of offense and a 26-7 victory. The Bobcats' Tommy Mallott rushed for 180 yards and a couple of touchdowns to lead the way. Montana faces James Madison Friday at 3 o'clock on ESPN2 in the quarterfinals. Montana State plays in Huntsville, Texas against Sam Houston Saturday night at 5.30 on ESPN. Plus. Also, finally, Washington State headed for Texas on New Year's Eve to play in the Tony the Tiger Bowl, uh, Sun Bowl, that is. Cougars will face the Miami Hurricanes on Friday, December 31st, 9 a.m. on CBS. Both teams come into the matchup at 7 and 5 overall. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Granstrom. Grant, back to you. Thank you very much, Eric. And finally tonight, the Bavarian Christmas Demon known as Krampus, made his appearance this weekend at Leavenworth Village of Lights Holiday Festival. In folklore, Krampus is a helper to St. Nicholas who punishes bad children, and Krampus costumes are common in European Christmas festivals. The non-profit group Krampus Seattle contributed their costume and performance skills to the weekend, which included a Krampus-themed pub crawl and costume parade. Very cool. Now let's check in with Dan Koontz for a look at what's coming up tomorrow morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Dan? Thanks, Grant. Every Tuesday throughout the course of the Wenatchee Wilds season, we'll talk wild hockey with Sean Zeers, the interim voice of the Wenatchee Wild. They are struggling, there's no doubt about that. Can they turn the ship around this weekend back up in Canada? We'll talk about that with Sean Zeers. So we got hockey talk tomorrow on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. That forecast, we'll have that for you. We'll take you up to the major mountain passes. We'll have your headlines, sports, a whole nine yards. It's gonna be a busy Tuesday. And if you have a busy Tuesday, you wanna get it going with the information that you need, we're live and local right here. Wake Up Wenatchee Valley, each weekday morning, live at 7 a.m., including tomorrow morning. I'll see you Tuesday. Grant, back to you. Thank you very much, Dan. And that is going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. Play inside, picking his way back to the 10, to the 5, into the High school sports is back, and NCW Life Channel's got you covered. Tune in for football, girls soccer, and volleyball right here. Thanks to our sponsors, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Rivercom 911, 
and Sangster Motors. Follow all the action of high school sports on your local TV station, the NCW Life Channel.